Hello. In this video, we are going to be using the double angle trig identities for tangents that we have learned in the past to find out what the tangent of two x's given that we know that the tangent of x is equal to, let's see, well, what's a good one here? Let's say that the tangent of x Ooh, okay, let's say that the tangent of x is equal to 1 over the square root of 3. And that might look familiar to some people, and uh, if it does, great, uh, keep watching. I think that this video is going to help not only to demonstrate an example of our double angle formula, but also to kind of verify them with angles that we may or may not be familiar with. If this is still kind of alien, then whatever, keep watching. So we know that the tangent of x is 1 over square root of 3. Let's plug, uh, let's uh, pull up our uh, formula for the double angle tangent, or for the tangent of 2x. We know that the tangent of 2x is going to be equal to 2 times the tangent of x. And this comes right out of our angle addition formulas, and it's pretty straightforward, and actually a formula that you'll probably use uh, least often out of these, but still I think it's good to know over, oops, dropped the pen there, um, over, so 2 tangent of x over 1 minus tangent squared of x. All right then. So what do we have? We have that the tangent of x is equal to 1 over square root of 3. So I made this example pretty easy um, because I wanted to kind of drive a point home here. We have the tangent of x is 1 over square root of 3, so we should just be able to plug this in. So tangent of 2x, let's write this out in blue. Yeah, I think I'll do blue. So tangent of 2x is equal to 2 times the tangent of x, which is 1 over the square root of 3, divided by 1 minus tangent of x squared, which is 1 over square root of 3 squared. Great. So let's simplify this a little bit. We're going, we're going to have 2 over the square root of 3, divided by 1 minus 1 third. So what's that going to give us? That's going to give us uh, let's uh, make it clear that these are separate. That's going to give us 2 over square root of 3. I'm not simplifying that yet. Over, right, this is going to be 2 thirds down here. Let's bring this down. So this, uh, when we're dividing by a fraction here, it's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, right? So this is going to be the same as, and I'm going to do this step really fast. Uh, it's going to be 2 times 3, right, divided by square root of 3 times 2, the 2's cancel, we're going to get 3 over the square root of 3. 3 divided by the square root of 3, x over square root of x, uh, something divided by the square root of itself, right? What does square root of 3 multiply by to get to 3? Well, it multiplies by square root of 3, so this is going to be equal to square root of 3. That is a tangent of twice our angle. And what might be an easier way to solve this problem? You know, this stuff wasn't actually necessary, but I think it helps uh, to kind of verify stuff we've learned in the past. What angle has a tangent of 1 over the square root of 3? Well, that's 30 degrees, or pi over 6 radians. What's twice that angle? Well, 2x, right? 2x is going to be equal to, maybe I'll write this in a different color even to, to make this clear. Uh, I'm just going to circle this. And 2x is going to be equal to 60 degrees, or pi over 3 radians. Great. And now what's the tangent of 60 degrees? Right, because that's all we're doing. We're just finding, we just have some angle here. We're just doubling that and then taking the tangent. So tangent of 2 times x, where the tangent of x is 1 over the square root of 3. That's going to be the tangent of 60 degrees, or the tangent of pi over 3 radians. And that's, as we know, as we probably should know, because it's an important unit circle value, um, 
or at least an important tangent value for sines and cosines on the unit circle that are recognizable, 60, uh, 60 degrees, 30 degrees, 90 degrees, or all, these are all uh, uh, pretty critical points on the unit circle to know. Um, so at least they're terminal points. Anyway, we have the square root of 3 as our answer, which we know from the unit circle, and I thought that this really kind of helps to maybe uh, add some evidence in support of these kind of obscure double angle formulas, even though they come from formulas that we've shown in the past to be uh, correct and we've used, I still think it helps kind of bring them closer to reality in that sense, in that uh, they agree with us uh, with these familiar angles. Uh, and they're also just as accurate with non-familiar angles, and this is why, uh, this is where they're most useful when we have um, angles that we're not familiar with, but because of course here we can just do this here. Uh, but I still thought that th this was cool and maybe this helps to clear some stuff up or this is inspiring in some way in the uh, ways that our trigonometric identities work and they really do work. Uh, anyway, in the next couple of videos we'll be getting into the um, uh, power reducing and uh, I guess power increasing identities even though those are just kind of reverses and uh, we, we in, a, in a way, we've actually already done the uh, power um, increase. I, n never mind, never mind. I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, but we'll be going into more identities, of course, because there are plenty of trigonometric identities to explore in future videos, and I'll see you then.